what's going on guys so today finally i added my voice to my tutorial and from now on you guys are going to hear my voice and voice is not all that good but i know you guys will understand so if you are new here kindly subscribe to my channel if you're old here i know you guys i know you guys have been pushing me thanks for the 2k subscribers every comment i'm going to reply you guys and today i'm going to show you how to make this fancy 3d text you guys normally see on tiktok and on the youtube short and all those platforms i'm going to show you the basics and the advanced level and all the settings you guys need to make your edit to the next level so i love you guys and now let's fire up after effects so we're going to create a new solid new solid or oh, you're going to use the script here but let's use this we're going to call it e3d element 3d and hit on ok now we're going to add a test to it now you have to send this test into element 3 so turn off the test now go on your e3d and add your element plugin to your solid so you can use your fs console to add the element or you can right click and go to effects and look for video copilot and look for elements so if you have your elements here what you have to do is go to your custom layers custom text and max and now look for a part and select your part and you select your text tutorial now if, if if all this is done now go to your scene setup you are not going to see the 3d test or you're not going to see your, the test uh, you added to the part so all you have to do is just click on extrude so now you have to customize the test and with this if you go to your extrusion model this is the bevel copies we have here that's it that's only one bevel here that's why here is only one and the part we chose in eleven 3d in the beginning that was part one so you can also add other tests to other parts here up to part 15 so if you want to add more bevels you just have to go to bevel copies and select the number of bevels we want so i'll select let's say three and we have three bevels here here you're not going to see all of them because they have the same color if we go to bevels so with this we go to our materials materials to you need the pro shaders too if you don't have the pro shaders check online you can get it or join the discord server so if i go to metals let's add this to the first bevel let's add this to the second let's add this to the third and right now we're going to see them because they're all together so now let's separate them so we'll go to the first bevel that's the clean metal you go to z offsets z offsets and you can see it so let's bring it here and you can play with the extrusion or extrude you can play with the expand edges so if you go to the expand edges this is what it does Okay, let's send it back. So now let's go to the third bevel and I want to are going to to the Z offset and there's it. I want to extrude it. this is how you customize your test so always make sure if you want to customize it you add if you go to the extrusion model look for bevel copies and add the number of bevels you want then you go and just start applying this materials to each of them and you can also make series of changes if you if you look at this material and you don't like it you can change it anytime so you can change this you can also change this you can also add this 
and this is the environment so if you go to this side you are going to get your environment so if you go to the backlight you can choose this 4k if you hold shift on your keyboard and drag you're going to change the lighting system here and here is on a single so you can choose the lighting system you want if you go to if you go to 360 this is what you're going to get for 360 360 lighting you can also change it to cinema so i have cinema these are the reflection of the environment you chose here so if you change it you can see we are having some changes in the lighting system so let me go for this this basically is how you guys can customize your 3d test so always make sure you have this here and try them one after the other so if the bevel is too much you can always go to the the bevel here and just reduce the just reduce the expand edges so you, you guys can make changes to your test and add more bevels and make your adjustment so if you're done with it we just go on a okay and now you're going to get your 3d text here we have to animate this test and with animation i'm going to show you some tips here so if you go to the group one we have option like the particle replicator we have one so if i set it to 55 and change it to sphere this is what it's going to do so you can create this looking sphere here but i'm not going to do that let's go to points let's set it to one and you can go to the z position that's let's zoom in and out using this z position you have the s and y left and right up and down so this is a setting here so you can go to the rotation you can rotate it go to the rotation so all this is found here at the particle replicator so you can make these changes here this first place you can make the changes you can also rotate it in z space you can also rotate the y position so for now what you have to go is go to particle look if you want to make this 3d test you have been seeing go to particle look then you go to multi object then you turn on this if you turn on this you're going to have the ability to go to the animation so if you go to your animation engine you just turn it on and if you drag this it's going to create this awesome animation so if you go to your multi object if you turn it off and we go back to the animation all the text is going to move at the same time and we don't want that one so we'll just turn on the multi object and if you just turn it on you're going to see the animation so you can choose the animation if you want this animation style you can choose it you can turn it off so for now let's go to our multi object here and we're going to this side here we're going to the x we already found it in the particle replicator we also find it here in the multi object you have the y the z rotation and we have the z rotation random so this is where you are going to get this random character movement so now let's create an animation with this 3d test so if you go to uh, z set the keyframe go back move some frame for it like model here then reset and bring it to the camera hit you on your keyboard and bring the keyframes so right click go to keep a uh, keyframe assistant go to easy ease go to your graph let's make this smooth graph here and let's play
so okay so this is our first animation now let's add more animation to this test so now let's go to the multi object so in the multi object uh we go to the x rotation make a keyframe hit on u to bring the keyframe send it to the end let's rotate it like this and let's play so highlight this and with the script easy copy copy the keyframe the easing and add it to the x rotation ease and go to get the same ease done with the rotation and let's go to the rotation random so click on keyframe u send it to the end and now let's adjust this so go to the left side of this and let's play so when it gets here it doesn't have to be like this just let's add some little dish okay something like this Add the same ease to it, the keyframe ease. If you still want to add different style to it, you can go to our option here. So if you go to your deform option, you just turn it on. Make sure it's on. If it's off, make sure you turn it on. You go to bend. Then you turn bend on then you go to origin make sure origin is on then let's start to create a bend so so this is the bend so when you get here let me show you how the bends works so this is this is the bend so you can bend your 3d text so go to the bend origin then so go to a negative value here like just like this then you, let's add our bend so let's create a keyframe for bend angle and bend orientation then make a key then hit on you sign your keyframe back and go to the end and reset your keyframes so if you play basically this is how you guys can actually make your 3d test and if you also go back to your scene setup you can also customize your 3d test with your materials so if you don't have materials make sure at least you have the pro shaders too so now let's start with this so the, for the front one i'm going to use this let me use this here and i'm going to use this in the middle and i'm going to use this at the back so you can see uh, it changes you seen this uh, so now let's use this let's use this then let me use this here then let me use this blue one also here so you can also see the changes here so if you click on ok it's going to update it and i'm going to get our changes in so now you can see now we've gotten an update but don't forget to always turn on your motion blur if you're done with everything just turn on your motion blur so since this is a 3d space you can also add a camera so you can go to new you're going to go to camera you can choose one node or two node so let's just choose the one node let's go to the 35 and just hit on ok so with this you can also use our camera to so you can zoom in our text so we can zoom in our text we can zoom out so 
so let's create animation here let's go back and create a keyframe so when it gets to this side here I'm going to zoom in like this So right click, you can also add the same easing. So since the test is connected to the E3D, if we apply some animation to the test, it's going to affect the element 3D. So this is what we're going to do. So once the animation just gets here, I want it to explode so I'll just go to my test and just add explode so search for explode explode out hit on it and it's going to just explode my text so actually this is how uh, you normally see those edits in which the test just explode and you now see your zooms and all those good stuff so this is it so now let's go back let me show you guys another trick move some few frames and right click reset and let's play our animation Let's make some few changes here. So let's go to our X rotation and go to rotation random. Hit on U. Send your keyframe to the end. And let's rotate this. Let's rotate this too. And if you play it. I'm going to get this animation here. So with this, we can also go to our particle replicator here. And then let's create a keyframe. Hit on U and keyboard. Send it to the end. And now let's rotate it like this. And if we play it we're going to get something cool like this so okay so you can just try your hands on the mirror settings here thank you for watching my video make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you like this video give me a comment i'm going to reply to every comment if you have any issues join my discord and i'm going to see you in my next video peace